Well, hello everyone. I trust that you're having a good week. And I want to remind you today of our ABCs and especially A in acknowledging God through spending time with Him in prayer and going to His, His Word. And in today's encouragement, I want to challenge you to do something that I find hard to do. I want to challenge you to take some time and be still. Quiet yourself before God, not to read, not to ask, but simply be still. One of my favorite psalms is Psalm 46. It's a familiar song to, psalm to many of us. And, and in this psalm, we're reminded of the fact that God is our rock, our, our refuge. He's our, our help in trouble. And even though circumstances at times may seem like they're out of control, this psalm reminds us that God is always in complete control. He always has been in control. He always will be in control. He is sovereign in all things. Then towards the end of this psalm, in verse 10, we're reminded of this. It says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. And as, as, as we think of acknowledging God today, I want to, to challenge you to do three things. First of all, I want to challenge you to be still. To, to lay aside your agendas. To put down your iPhone or your phone or step away from your computer. Stop commenting Stop thinking of the tasks that you have to do or the worries that you have or possible things that come up that, that cause your mind to race. And to simply be still. Find a place where you can do this. Find a, a time of day when this can be a reality for you. When you can just take some time without being interrupted. And ask God, to quiet your heart so that you can hear Him speaking to you. And secondly, as you are still, know, be assured, be sure, don't doubt, but have a rock-solid assurance in your heart. Know what? Be assured of what? That God is God. That he will do what he's promised to do. And as you are still, remember that God is almighty. Remember that God is in control. Remember that God is king. Remember that God has a plan. That he is your rock. That he is your hope. That he is your fortress. That he's ever present in good times and in difficult times, that He is your shepherd, that He will protect you, that He will restore you, that He will do what He says He will do. And so as you think about acknowledging God this week, stop. Be silent. Listen to the voice of God. Be quiet. And ask God to speak. And when you finally, by the grace of God, quieted your heart and your soul, open His Word and listen. I trust this week as you take time to acknowledge God in your daily rhythms of life, you will be still and know that He is God and you will be encouraged. Have a great week. We serve an amazing God.